everybody we're back and today we are making unstuffed bell peppers from budgetbites.com so what I've already started with here is a tablespoon of olive oil a clove of garlic that's minced I have my one medium onion chopped up and we're gonna start with that right now so let's start cooking So, important things to know, according to the website, you're going to want a heavy bottom pan to make sure that the heat distributes evenly across the whole entire pan so you don't have anything scorched anywhere. So get yourself a good pan there. Um, we're going to go ahead and cook this until it's translucent for a few minutes here. And then we're going to go ahead and add in our bell peppers and our ground beef. It's been a few minutes and I've now added a half pound of ground beef into the pan. So we're going to cook this until it is fully browned and then we'll be adding in our diced uh, bell peppers. So you'll see that the ground beef is about browned up here. It's been about five minutes and so what we're going to do now is add our two diced bell peppers. I just used green. I guess you can use whatever colors you like. We're going to saute these for a few minutes just until they're a little soft. And then we'll be adding the rest of our ingredients in. Alright, it's been a few minutes and what we're going to do now is add your can of diced tomatoes, juices and everything one teaspoon of oregano and one teaspoon of basil and one cup of white rice. Let's throw all that in there and mix it up. Don't forget about 10 to 15 turns of black pepper on here. And then we're going to add our one and a half cups of beef broth and cover the lid and let it go. We're going to let it simmer for half an hour and check on it and see how it's doing. I've added my one and a half cups of beef broth to this and now you're supposed to just cover the lid. And it says here that you should be able to hear the liquid simmering quietly the whole entire time. And if you can't, just turn up the heat until you can hear that simmer and just leave it there for 30 minutes. We'll come back and check in 30 minutes and see how everything is. And we're just going to remove the lid and see if the rice is absorbed by the liquid, if it's tender or not, or if it's still crunchy. Then we'll just leave the lid on for a few more minutes to see how that turns out. So we'll see you in 30 minutes. All right, we are back. It's been half an hour. And all you need to do to finish it off is just fluff up your rice. You know what? Make sure you taste test it to make sure the rice is soft enough to eat. And then you're going to add your tomato sauce on top. And your dinner is ready to serve. And that's it. I'm going to actually sprinkle some parsley on top of it just for prettiness. Totally not necessary. But it just makes it look better. <laughs> So, here it is. I hope you guys like this dinner tutorial on the unstuffed bell pepper. If you guys liked it, please make sure you like and subscribe. And as always, I will link the recipe link in the description box below. Until the next video, see you guys later. Bye!